Okay, uh, Tom Tom, you're gonna make fun of me for this. <laughs> I'm doing a shoe review. I bought some shoes. Okay, so my kids the other day, because my twins, they run a Poshmark store called the Thrifty Twins, uh, spotted some LA gear and they're like, oh, we've never heard of that before. What is LA gear? And then they were like, oh, it's just, it's just cheap stuff after they looked it up. And I was like, no, no, LA gear was expensive, or at least it was when I was a kid. And so from late 80s to the early 90s and stuff, LA gear was up there. I mean, you couldn't find it anywhere. It was at, you know, Macy's or uh, somewhere in the mall or Foot Locker or something like that. That's where you had to go get LA gear. And they had the catapults and the flames, and then they had uh, the pump up shoes were called the regulators. And then they had the LA lights. That's when they really kicked in. And I was, you know, first, second grade somewhere in there when that was really big. And so um, I was telling them about them and then looked it up. LA Gear has went bankruptcy, the original company, in 1998. So they had all these good shoes in the early 90s and were fairly well known. And it was the third largest shoe manufacturer in the United States, or maybe even nationwide. I'm not sure. Um, and then they started selling their shoes at Walmart and at uh, retailers, and they made these lines that were cheaper shoes, and they were junk. They would just fall apart, so then LA Gear got a bad rep for being trash shoes. So uh, they were rebought like three different times, and then each company's bought them, and they put the name LA Gear on them, apparently, for the, I didn't even know they were around from the 2000s up to 2016 or 17 was the last time. And... They would just take some generic shoe, slap LA gear on it, and try to sell it, and it just never caught on. I, I thought they were gone. And so, got to researching. Some company bought them in 2021, and has promised to bring them back to being their former glory of uh, being a nicer shoe manufacturer. And they brought back some retro designs. They've got the Flame, which was identical to the 80s model. And then they have these catapults, which they're not it's identical because catapults were high top basketball shoes when I was a kid. And these are more of a running shoe. So I'm opening it up first time, LA Gear on the paper. Greater to greater today, that's what it says, and it's got the LA Gear emblem. Used to, it was get it in gear. That's when I was a kid. And that was a great slogan. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, this package here, I believe is probably instructions. Uh, it's a little note telling the history of LA Gear. Started in 1983. Shows the on off button for the tongue. It's got a power on it and charging. And I'm assuming this is a charger. Yes. It's just a standard USC, USB C mini. And so here they are. It's the Ella Gear Catapult. And again, it's not a high top. Car Malone, all those, those were the catapults in the 80s. And there was a spring loaded top mechanism in here that was the quote unquote catapult. And uh, that was their selling point. Back then, it always had the license plate. It used to be white. And. Los Angeles, California. It's got the date, 1983. It says Heritage on the bottom of it instead of, I think it used to say Get It In Gear, and it was white. Uh, inside the shoe, LA Gear Heritage cell cushion. There's the power button. Cell cushion technology, living your greater self. Mm. Anyway, don't know if there's a catapult in there because it just feels like a spring. The shoe's very light. It looks like the retro shoe on the bottom. The top does not. Uh, it's made of suede leather leather, and uh, mesh. That may be leather. That's leather also. It smells good and pretty flexible. But it is a low top shoe and it says running on it. It's designed more like a runner. LA Tech runner or running. There's the power button. I don't know if you can see that the light on, so let's turn the light off. Anyway, now when I was a kid, LA Tech, when it was written on it, there were the LA lights, and the light was in here. And that was when it, you were cool. 
you had LED gears that lit up in the back. They were the first ones to bring me lit shoes. And so, uh, anyway, uh, these shoes weren't cheap as far as just a regular pair of shoes, especially for ones that's been gone for so long. They were like 123 bucks for these, or 124 somewhere in there. For these LED gears, uh, it comes with shoe bag, the charger, and that's it. And then hopefully I'll wear them and see how they feel and see how long they last. So anyway, my kids make fun of me and maybe they're not right and I bought a cheap pair of shoes for 124 bucks and wasted my money. Bye.